What's up guys, it's Alex from Everybody Biking and welcome back to my backyard pump track, which we don't have a name for. So please, comment section down below, comment what you think we should call this pump track, because I, I really don't know what to call it. Anyways, in episode one, we cleared out this whole area and set the layout, which you can now see, placed by these convenient sticks. Anyways, today is the exciting day. It is the exciting day because we are going to start building. What are we gonna start building, you ask? I think we're gonna start here at the beginning. We're gonna place some rollers in here. I think that's where we're gonna start. Maybe one there, maybe two. I think two, two small rollers entering in the first berm, which I think we'll worry about next episode. All right, so I've gotten two logs that I think are pretty decent size and I've placed them where I think the first two rollers are gonna be. And I'm gonna use these logs as a sort of that is the top of the log is the top of the roller. That's how we can get that organic semicircle shape of the roller. And I think the logs will definitely help us be able to achieve that and be able to keep a good, it's just a good starting place. I think now we just gotta jump into a time lapse and get these logs covered with dirt. And then we can start shaping the rollers. All right, guys, we now have a decent amount of dirt piled up on top of our log. And I think we're at the point where we can start sort of trying to pat it into shape. All righty. So what we have here could do with a little bit of smoothing out on the top because it's a bit more like a jump right now. But we have our first roller, a tiny little roller. I think I'm going to smooth out the top because it's more like a jump right now. Or maybe it could be gap jump. You think I could make it from there all the way over there? I think what our next step is, is to just refine this really quickly then let's start putting the dirt over there. So I had finished building this first roller and then I kind of realized these two, they're too close. It, this is gonna make it awkward. I know we're, we're tight on space, but you're gonna lose so much flow with having them that close together. So I brought my bike out and I've sort of measured it to try to make it with a bike space in between there so that the wheels are not on top of each the rollers at the same time. So I've decided this is where this one's going to be. This is where this one's going to be. Why I put it there initially is because I was concerned about this going right into, but I think it'll be okay. So we'll just to quickly move that dirt over there. It shouldn't be too bad because it's already all there. And then, and then we'll finally get to that. <laughs> all right, folks, just checking back in and I've officially moved this roller slash small jump, possibly a bit of both. Anyways, I think this actually looks way better than usual. It's hard to see on camera the shape, but I think this shape is so much better. And I'm really glad I moved it. I'm really liking this. And uh, I can finally, finally start on that one. All right, we got a smaller roller built and a bigger roller built. Now there's still some touches, they're not perfect, but they're a lot more than what we had. And I think this spacing is gonna be a lot, lot better. A lot, lot more flowier into the first berm. I think the only thing left to do is to Give it a test run. <laughs> I didn't know that first corner is so sharp coming into here. <laughs> Let's give it another try. That's gonna be good. 
So in the video, it doesn't really look like much, but this is actually, this is a pretty good start. Of course, my problem in the beginning was that I can kind of show you guys here that A, my handlebars are wide and these doors are tight, and two, this is the run up from our driveway. So here, we have that tree there, then I have to come in, turn, line up, blump, blump, and blump. This one needs some work. It's a little bit too steep. I think that our goal today was to finish two rollers and we have finished two rollers. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm really, really starting to see the potential in this series and I'm really excited to keep working on this because I think, again, I think it has a lot of potential, especially with these two rollers here. I think once I get the angle and stuff that I have to enter in this, I think I'll actually be able to get some speed into here. Next episode, we work on this berm and we're also gonna have to deal with some uh, trail destruction because it is scheduled to horribly rain, like two inches of rain. So we're gonna have to deal with the aftermath of that but that is next episode so if you want to see that subscribe if you're liking the series go comment down below if you like this episode leave a like and follow us on instagram at everyday biking and i know i said last episode that the next video is gonna be the biggest ever on the channel i know i said that because i didn't know i was gonna post this on wednesday but this sunday biggest episode biggest video ever on our channel all right see ya Here we can see a wild chipmunk in its natural habitat.